Question 12 says, which choice does the author explicitly cite as an advantage of automobile travel in North America? So this question is not giving us any specific lines to look at. And we we're talking about automobile travel, something that the author generally is not in favor of. He talks at length about the benefits of public transportation. So this probably only came up one time. Now, there's three ways we can approach a question like this. First of all, we can happen to get lucky and have annotated it correctly. So we know exactly where the author said a benefit of automobile travel. The second thing we could do is go back and read the entire passage and look for explicit mention of a benefit of automobile travel. That doesn't seem viable. We don't have time to do that. The third thing we could do, and probably the most applicable to other sections and other questions, is use question 13. We know one of the answers here has to have evidence here. So we could look at each of these lines and see if they are speaking to a specific choice found in question 12. And if so, are they actually an explicit advantage of automobile travel? That is to say, are they actually answering what number 12 wants us to find? So let's go do that. Let's go look at lines five through nine here and see if we can find an explicit benefit of automobile travel. Five through nine starts with, in other words, traveling is someone who has to be a strap hanger by choice is using public transportation. Okay, not a benefit of the automobile, definitely not A. Choice B says 20 through 24, let's go look at those. Here we are, um, public transportation is the opposite of glamour. Okay, so we're not speaking towards the automobile just yet, but let's keep, see where it goes. We have a lot of issues with public transportation. It doesn't work. Okay, yep, not talking about cars. Great, we tried. So because it's not an explicit advantage of the automobile, we can't pick it. It is not speaking to any of these choices here. Choice C, 24 through 26 says, in much of North America, they are right, taking transit is a depressing experience. Anybody who has waited too long on a street corner for the privilege of loading a lurching over Carter bus or wrestling onto subways and shuttles, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's still a downside of public transportation, but not an explicit advantage. An advantage of automobile travel can't be seen. Let's hopefully find it in choice D, 32 through 34 here. 32 says, uh, starting with this, hopping in a car almost always gets you to your destination more quickly. Okay, your car, that's an automobile, and we have a benefit here. It gets you to your destination more quickly. Now we got something. None of our other options are speaking towards automobile travel at all, and especially not in North America. Only D is and D is speaking directly towards speed, quickly. So we're picking C and we're picking D. How easy is that?